Now, before we jump into the M4 Competition X Drive video, I have to say thank you to today's video sponsor, and that is Klikai. Klikai Token is a cryptocurrency that sports a play to earn game called Klee Run. It's a highly addictive and super fun overall game with some great updates coming in future within the game. They are also beginning to expand into the NFT market, so they're incorporating NFTs into the game. Now with the rise of the metaverse coming quick, they even have their own space in the metaverse, which is going to be pretty awesome. This thing has got huge potential. Now I'll leave a link into the description below so you guys can go and check out the game. Make sure to have a go. It's called Clee Run Game and it will soon be available on the App Store and Android OS Play Store. Now at first glance, you look at this and think this just looks like the normal rear wheel drive car. However, this is four wheel drive. And actually, I've driven the X-Drive M3 competition, and whilst they look the same, they definitely don't feel the same, particularly when you start to throw in different kinds of weather, different types of tarmac, particularly here in the UK, where as we kind of air into the side of winter, the tarmac gets particularly greasy. The way that that car puts its power down and pulls you out of a corner is nothing short of, well, pretty spectacular. And I wanna see what it's like to drive the M4, because really and truly, it's the same car. M3 is a saloon variant. This is a coupe variant. You can see by the shape of the car, you've got this kind of arching back here. So if you've got rear passengers, the M3 will probably be the better car. But personally, I've started to like the M4 a bit more. So uh, yeah, let's go for a drive. Let's see what this is all about. Now, you're probably wondering, Steph, you've already done a video on the M3, and why are you doing one on the M4? Because it's pretty much the same car. Yes, you're right, it pretty much is, but it gives me an excuse to drive it again, because I am so impressed with this X-Drive platform, genuinely. It is an absolute beast of a platform. Now, I said earlier on that I'm starting to like the M4 more than the M3, and that's down to personal preference, let's be honest. If you've got a family or you know you like to pack out, pack out a car, then yeah, the M3 is probably gonna be the car for you because like I said, behind you here, not an awful lot of headroom with that sloping roof line. And also it's just a bit of a pain in the backside to get people in the back. But I don't have that problem and I like two door cars. It's just the thing, it just works for me. Yes, the rear of the M3 arguably probably looks a little better. It looks a little bit more aggressive. I get that, but I still like the M4. And I also really like this white color. Now, what I like even more is a launch. Here we go. It's just, if I'm honest, it's becoming a bit of a piss take in a good way. BMW have almost like, they've just elevated this platform even further in my opinion with the X-Drive system because look, 500 odd horsepower car, three liter flat six engine, which is great. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a bulletproof piece of kit. On paper, 3.5 seconds to 62. This X-Drive though, pulls you out around the corners and really I've seen people get like 3.1 seconds to 62, which, I mean, you're getting close to the 2.9 seconds of a Porsche 911 Turbo. Now, acceleration is one thing, but when you couple that with handling, that's where the X-Drive platform for me comes into its own. It really does transform the car. Now, look, right now, the sun's out, the tarmac's dry, and with the brilliant 10-stage traction control that you'd get anyway with BMW, um, with the rear-wheel drive car, there's an argument to say, are you really gonna notice the difference? Maybe not, but on a launch, you would. I'm not gonna launch, I'm gonna put foot to floor. That throwback is just relentless, and here in the corners, you look, it just pulls you out of the ceramics working overdrive here, but it's just sensational, this. Wow. I mean, I'm a bit speechless, if I'm honest with you, because, and that's why I was desperate to have another go. <laughs> because I don't have much time in these cars, and I thought to myself, do you know what? I want to have a go in the M4. Yes, the platform's the same, but it allows me to feel and experience that power just a little bit more because, 
My word, this is good. Unbelievable. The other bit for me is, I said it in the M3, I mean, really and truly, if you've seen the M3 review, this is gonna be almost a bit of a carbon copy, but it's worth pointing out because some people might not have seen that review. For me now with the xDrive platform, that begs the question as to why would you even bother buying the rear wheel drive car? And it wouldn't surprise me if sales of the rear wheel drive car alone just really start to fall off a cliff as people adopt the xDrive model. The reason I say that is because, you know, in the UK, we don't have the greatest weather all year round. If we were, you know, 30 degrees or 25 degrees, not much rain, tarmac is genuinely warm. The rear wheel drive car with the 10, straight, 10 stage traction will be ample, it'd be perfect. I already experienced how good that was coming out of corners, it was phenomenal. But the reality is we live in the UK. Here in the UK, we get wet, we get ice, we get all the stuff that you just don't really want in a rear wheel drive car other than when you're having a laugh. You can't pull out of junctions like that in the rear wheel drive. It's the four wheel drive platform, the X drive system that just works so well and modulates that power perfectly through all four wheels to give you that get up and go. I mean, I'm a real fan of this car genuinely a real fan i can even get away or i can even give that front grill a bit of a break in this video because all my attention has just shifted to how this thing performs particularly the way it pulls you with those front wheels as well and it's just a brilliant bit of kit so so good and it's enjoyable as well and yes Yes, we're getting quite an awful lot of kind of pumped noise inside the cabin. And actually, you hear, you hear almost like, um, like the Julia Quadrifoglio does the same thing. When it changes gear, it makes that kind of noise. Uh, but that, in the Julia, it's real. In this, it's, it feels enhanced, which isn't a bad thing. Because in the world of OPF, you've just got to take, um, you've got to take noise where, well, where you can, really. Just do one more quick launch. Downhill, it should be flipping blisteringly quick. Check this. What? Okay, okay. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, it's like a theme park ride. I mean, I can only say well done to BMW. What more, what more do you say to something that drives this good? I really like this. Really, really like this. Wow. Okay, performance is one thing. We know it's rapid, we know it's brilliant. Interior, again, identical to the old car. The only difference between these cars and the rear wheel drive cars is when you go into the M setup menu and you can see the option for four wheel drive or full rear wheel drive. You don't have much difference. There are no telltale signs that you're in an X drive. I am in, of course, the sports bucket seats, which when you're in them are amazing. They're phenomenal, they're great. They're in this kind of beautiful white and black combo, which works well with the color. And that's the thing I haven't really touched on. I'm not normally a fan of white cars, but this kind of pearlescent white just works extremely well. It looks awesome. When the sun hits it, you get that kind of pearlescent reflection, which looks, which looks epic. And then as you come inside the car, you've got the carbon fiber trim, you've got the carbon fiber on the steering wheel, carbon fiber paddles, and of course, these awesome seats. These are, they're hit and miss for me, if I'm being completely honest with you. I mean, when I'm in them, they're great. Getting in and out of them is a bit of a pain in the backside. And also, it limits your legs. Great when you want to go for a spirited drive. Not perfect if you want to just kind of move your legs around a bit, particularly for a passenger. But other than that, inside, it's exactly the same. But I like it. Do I want one? I would definitely like to spend more time in one. Let's put it that way. Because I'm a fan of four-wheel drive cars. I always have been, but I'm even more of a fan of a car that allows you to do both. Because if I was to then put this into rear-wheel drive, I'd get pretty much the exactly the same characteristics of the rear-wheel drive car, minus a 50 kilogram uh, weight split, which is the only, it's the only penalty you get by adding the kind of change to the front axle. 
Is it, it, does that bother you? Do you notice the difference? No, of course you don't. 50 kilograms is nothing. Absolutely nothing. And it, wait, you know, you'll, you'll be smiling more when you power out of a corner than thinking to yourself, I've just put on some weight with 50 kgs. Or if it really bothers you, just kick your passenger out. There you go. That's your 50 kilogram weight saving. But in, final, in kind of final thoughts, you know, what do I think of the new M4 X Drive competition? It is superb to drive. Genuinely superb. Flipping Nora. You can just, you can really pedal it. You can really pedal it and know that it's going to get you through the corner. It's not going to upset you. You're not going to come out that corner thinking, oh my God, I've got to deal with corrective oversteer. None of that stuff. You just come out the corner knowing that you can keep pushing and pushing and pushing. And that's the beauty with this car. It's not only is it a kind of two cars in one or three cars in one even with the four wheel drive sport mode, but it's a car that you can use 24 seven, three, six, five days a year. And I think that's important. And that's my verdict. I would 100% take this X drive over the base model or the rear wheel drive model. Without a shadow of a doubt, that's, that's what I would do. Buy one, they're good.